In this video, we will show you what a failover scenario is. If your primary server fails, we can register the phone's additional extensions to a secondary server at a different location. For example, your primary server might be located inside your office, and the secondary server can be hosted at a data center in an entirely different city like Dallas, San Francisco, New York, or anywhere. In this scenario, we have the primary server registered on the right side and the failover server registered on the left side. If that primary server fails, all the lights on the right-hand side will change amber in color, indicating that the lines on the server are down, but the lines on the left-hand side are still active. The phones in the back have the first three lines registered to the primary server and the fourth line registered to the secondary server. Now we will show you what the call stream looks like. The screen on the left is the data stream from the primary server, and the screen on the right is the data stream from the secondary server. Watch the data stream on the primary server. When we check the phone's voicemail, it shows that it is registered there. When we select a line registered to the secondary server and check the phone's voicemail, you see the data stream on the secondary server, indicating that the line is registered there. Once again, the lines on the right-hand side of the phone are registered to the primary server, so when one of those lines are active and the voicemail button is pressed, the data stream is on the primary server. When a line on the left-hand side of the phone is selected and the voicemail button is pressed, the data stream is on the secondary server. Now we will make an inbound call from an outside line. The call comes in to the primary server. The data stream shows the inbound call on the left screen, our primary server. Once again, an inbound call comes in to the primary server, and the data stream shows on the left here. Now we will issue a command to the primary server to turn off. An error message pops up that states, primary server is down. When the voicemail button is pressed, nothing happens because the phone is not communicating with the primary server. When we try to make an outbound call, nothing happens for the same reason. Now watch what happens when a call comes in when the primary server is down, but we have a failover server in place. Because the failover server remains active, even with the primary server down, we can still receive incoming calls. That is the purpose of the failover or secondary server. See the data stream on the right screen? That's the secondary server picking up the call. The phones in the back have the fourth line registered to the secondary server, so now those lines are ringing. When the primary server is down and a call comes in, the failover server data stream is active and all lines registered to the failover server will ring instead.